Hello shoppers, welcome back. And to those of you who are new here, I'm Melody, and thanks for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. I stopped into a different Dollar Tree this day, and I was pleasantly surprised. They had a lot of new stuff that I haven't seen in any of the other stores I stop at. I thought that I thought this was interesting, but it was missing a piece, so I put that back. This store was a lot larger than some of the other ones I go to, and I have five or six in different little areas of the city that I do stop at. And I have to say, this one kind of blew me away. It had a lot of stuff that, you know, I've only seen on other channels and I've never seen it in real life. <laughs> and once I come across those items, I'll point those out to you. I really did like this sign. I thought that was pretty. It looked very farmhouse to me. I'm trying to decide if I want to put music in the background or if I'm going to go ahead and just leave the natural noises. Yeah, if you guys don't mind, would you mind letting me know in the comment section what you do prefer? Do you, do you like more talking, less talking? Do you like the music in the background with the voiceover? Or do you actually like the natural sounds of the shopping? Look at how much stuff they have, it was great. And these items here, I saw something very similar at Hobby Lobby. And I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure it was a lot more expensive than those are. Yeah, I sort of felt like I hit the jackpot here. I didn't bring very many items home. I think I brought two items home, but wow, it was really hard for me to resist. I'm telling you guys, I saw a lot of stuff that I would normally only see like on, oh, who's that lady? Catherine, is, does she have the Do It On A Dime channel? And she always finds the neatest stuff in her Dollar Trees. But you know, in real life, do we ever find those items? Half the time, probably not. But I saw a few of the items and I was like, oh, I can't believe it. I'm finally finding these things. Look at these. Oh, I should have grabbed those, but I didn't. I was really impressed by all the items that they had. This store must have, you know, enough employees that they can get the inventory out in a timely manner. I bought something similar for a gift bag around Christmas and those things are great. It's just one little thing and poof, you don't have a bunch of strings falling out everywhere because they all stay together. Very handy. I definitely recommend that. Oh, I did bring this home. I was going to taste test it for you guys sometime. Okay, here is one of the items I should have picked up and didn't. It's a four piece hair, I think it's a hair mask set or kit by Freeman. And I think Freeman is a brand name. I could be wrong. 
and then this Pond's Cream. That's another thing. Has anyone tried that? Man, I should have picked that up as well. I was trying to be careful, you know, money's tight, so I'm trying not to, you know, spend too much. And look, this here, I think this is a brand I've seen in like Walmart or something. In these eye eyelash cases, I thought these were really pretty. It has a mirror with it, that's not bad. I'm definitely seeing a lot of things I didn't notice when I was there the first time. I'm gonna have to go back and check it out some more. Oh, these toothbrushes. I thought this was a pretty neat find. It's, it's a bamboo toothbrush with charcoal bristles. They even have replacement heads for your electric toothbrush. Yes, this Parmesan, I bought some not too long ago from Dollar Tree and it's actually very good. This stuff I don't know so much about. It looks very powdery though. It's very finely grated, but I can definitely recommend this one here. Oh see, I'm just noticing the pizza sauce there. I can't believe I missed that. This lasagna, I couldn't believe I found that here. $1.25. I bought something similar and I paid almost twice as much in the grocery store. And this this macaroni here, 25% more. You guys, this place, they had it all. I'm going back for that macaroni and lasagna. Another item I'd love to share with you guys are these two and a half gallon bags. You get six of them for $1.25. These are great for traveling because I like to put my shoes in them and they come in very handy for various other things around the house too. And you can make them last longer if you wash them out and air dry them. They'll last a good while too. Here is another item that I don't normally find, but they have a ton of them. And it's the, that's a giant jug of it too. And look, they have the antibacterial version. I'm kicking myself, I should have bought that one. I'm definitely going back on Monday. This Brillo dish spray, yeah, I had to re-record this at least three times because I couldn't get that out. I thought that was a really great find too. Okay, this right here. I have only seen that on Catherine's channel. I've never seen it in person. And they have a ton of it. And look, they have the LA's Totally Awesome Laundry Pre-Wash. I was like, I'm finding everything here. All the stuff I've always looked for everywhere else, it's here in this one store. Oh, and this is another item I've been looking for. These candlestick holders, because I have a DIY I want to do. I have not been able to find those anywhere except for this store. I better get back before it's all sold out. <laughs> 
Because you know Dollar Tree, they get something and then it's gone the next day. I thought this was pretty neat. They actually have a small candle making kit. I believe it has everything you need to make a candle. Pretty cool. Yeah, and I even found these. I was like, I had to go to North Platte to find mine, and then I come home and here, here it is. <laughs> I don't know why, but I thought that was pretty cool. They have the open and close sign. Thank you so much for shopping with me, everyone. If you like this kind of content and are not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Have a wonderful week, everyone. Bye-bye.